Welcome to Speaker High School, as, is, as it sounds like. No, this is actually an overview video of the the newer line of Atlas Sound products, which these happen to be a version of the SHS speakers app. It has been a couple of viewers in the past that have sent me comments saying that they like to see an SHS speaker in the video. That was about two years ago. I came across these ones for a reasonable price, but also the seller had all, marked them down, took $20 off, took $20 off of these. So I got it for a good deal. I think I paid like 80 bucks for both of them. They come in packs of two. Got the box right here. This is what the box looks like. This is the SHS 3T2. They are different versions of these. Probably the one you are the most familiar with is, th is this model right here, the SHS 6T2. Now that one goes up to 32 watts from what I've read. This is the version I have right here, the 3T2. These only go up to four watts and Really, these aren't meant to be sound masking speakers, but you could do the, these, these are pretty universal, pretty universal of the applications. Now, I, there is one thing I notice about these when playing music, and if there's a little too much bass, there's all these exposed ports and stuff in the back. These are not sealed, so you can kind of hear a little bit of the, the pressure coming out every time the the speaker excurs or moves. You can hear a lot of the air kind of coming in and out. That's the one thing Atlas Sound needs to work on, at least at least in this particular model. I cannot speak for the 6T2. Now, when you get these, at least this one, if you get it brand new, you're going to get a whole bunch of accessories. And I mean lots of accessories. And you're not going to know what the heck is what. There, most of these accessories are different diffusers. Diffusers and... So there's an... These are diffuser pieces. And you can customize these. Customize them for your needs, of course. Comes with two cat fly cables, and no, these are these you do not connect to a network. It even says it in the manual. But here are some support wires, all both long and short. There's those. You got these are spacers. And these are what you would use, like see this little gap here, for example, this spacer will go in between, but it's, it screws in. Well, actually it, it goes in and then this holds that spacer in place. These are, on, these are screwable, which I will take off in a little bit so you can see what the driver looks like. Different, different speaker diffuser slash grill options. There's this. Or which they call lens. Well, the lens, this is the lens you see here. This is what holds the grill in place like this. It's magnetic, it clips in. Although there is a different version for this. And there's a lot of pieces. It even comes with an Allen wrench, which is quite nice. You know, I have 50,000 of these tools. The 50,000 of these are ready. <laughs> But the only thing, the only, th the only thing I, with all these accessories, is you're not going to use all these out if you have hundreds of these to install, like in an office, in a store. You're only going to use like one accessory of each, and you're just, it's just going to be waste. A lot of accessories that basically will go to the garbage because there's really no use for them. But these 
are 70 well this is 70 volts this is a 70 volt speaker and i have this currently connected to a period correct slash matching equipment atlas a 30 phd which i believe this is made around the same time released around the same time as these and let's go over the connectors here and switches if you're like me and you're just gonna connect it to your regular system, disregard these. You do not connect these to the network. And it even says in the manual, which I have the manuals here. See, there's all of this. It's analog audio, analog in port, analog out port. It's for analog audio. Which, that makes no sense. I don't know why you want to use Cat5, but... <laughs> Full-blown Cat5 cables. If you could just use this, I feel like this is more efficient and probably cheaper. But who knows? Oops, the paper fell. So, let's... So, this... These two wires you see, that is the loop in. And these last two can... Two pins here or openings is the loop out which goes to the next speaker the next speaker on the system if you want to use this obviously which 90% of you are probably gonna do put the zone select switch to one that's what the manual says and then here is your taps by default it should come at four watts it should come already selected at four this is the way it came. I didn't mess with those. But that is what the manual says. Flip it to zone one. Unless you're using these, then you flip it to zone two. The transformer is built on, to, on the inside. And another thing, another little weird quirk about these is the way you how you install them on the wall. Which I gotta find the manual for, or my papers here. Here we go. If you want to put it on your wall, it will look like that. Which, to me, and I, this is my opinion, that looks kind of like a a bodge job to me. <laughs> that just looks kind of not very so professional. Even like this, it just, that just doesn't look right. <laughs> but that's how it would look if you put it on the wall. Look at that gap. That, that looks, that looks kind of terrible in my opinion. Not very aesthetically pleasing if that's what you're trying to go for. <laughs> these little tops, these, these open, these little doors here are, wall mounts they are detachable you just use that allen wrench to take that out either that out or these other three out these other three allen screws so uh, let's play some music of course let's play some music let's try out my keyboard here i put two different grills on these by the way Let's see the inside. It's a small little driver. That's the little speaker in there. You see? Here are the threads. It looks like a PVC pipe thread. You just twist them in. Not sure where I want to see the other side. This is metal, by the way. Oops, almost fell. There's that. So yeah, there is the music. 
And let's, I haven't done the spacer yet, so let's do this together. Cover it in the video, I guess. Here's my spacer right here, one of the spacers. And there's this, and it looks like you just put it in like that, something like that. Like, just okay. The smooth side goes in like that, because it clips together, and these little ridges face the bottom. And then you just use this, kind of guide it in place. There we go. And also, I'm, I am going to take the tops off of these once I install them. They are going in the main room. I'm not sure if I want to put this on a separate amp or not. Because these are very quiet. And for the sake of it, I have this round right here. Let's compare this to that. I have conveniently my wires ready to go here. Clip leads. So. Oh, I gotta play the song again. For sure this one's louder. Tap that five watts. thing too to consider when getting these if you have a whole bunch of speakers like i do this it this alone drowns these out because these are quiet even though they're pretty much at the same wattage that's the issue with smaller drivers is they will not output it output enough power than what this would the sound would be too low and then there's all this other literature but the main selling thing with these is what atlas sound has has a like they have an option where you could customize these front diffuser pieces if you're going to put it in the ceiling that's what this picture is about you can kind of see an shs match with the ceiling which i don't know how they do it but other than you based it, you send them a sample. Send it in the back. Here we go. I know you send them a sample. But if you got a lot of stuff going on on the ceiling like this, how do you guarantee that? That's, that's what I'm curious about. Yeah, I keep, because, you know. When you paint the ceiling and then you have someone else do another little section, there might be color shifting and all that. Based on my experience as a painting. <laughs> the, the colors may vary a little bit, but that that's very interesting. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this SHS speaker overview video.